Hornady has recently added a host of new features into the Ford Off Ballistic app. Let's take a closer look at one in particular, the Multi-HUD. The Multi-HUD feature allows the user to duplicate their solution screen a nearly infinite number of times and then change variables like wind and shooting angle independent of the other solution screens that you've created. These new solution screens can be named by the user for quick identification. The multi-HUD feature offers benefits in many situations. Today, we'll explore three specific examples. For the first example, we'll look at a scenario of a hunter, or perhaps a law enforcement sniper, in a stationary position who has two different areas where a shot opportunity may present itself. Each of the two spots has a different range, shot azimuth, wind direction, and shooting angle. First, open the favorites file and pair your weather meter or adjust the environmental data to reflect. Next, input the correct unity. In this case, the first shot distance we'll say is 385 yards at a shooting angle of 12 degrees. Next, input the wind information and firing azimuth. Now, in the upper right-hand corner of the screen, you'll notice the multi-HUD icon. Press that icon to create your first multi-HUD. When presented with the blank screen, you'll press the plus sign in the upper right-hand corner. This will automatically upload the first solution screen you created as your first multi-HUD. Now, for easy identification, I recommend naming the HUD by the yardage that you'll be shooting. In this case, the first target was 385 yards. Notice the name at the bottom. To create a second solution screen, simply press the plus sign again. This will duplicate the original solution screen. Now this second shot opportunity is 442 yards. Notice the name at the bottom. We'll go into that solution screen and update the shot distance to 442. We'll change our shooting angle. You can also update the wind speed and direction change, as well as firing azimuth. Now when the shot presents itself, you can very quickly swipe between each different distance to get the appropriate dope. Another great benefit of the multi-HUD is for shooting instructors teaching a class with multiple shooters. When a user creates multiple solution screens and changes variables like distance and wind, those solution screens are then applied to every favorites file in the library. Let's explore this example a little further. In this scenario, we'll say we have an instructor with four shooters on the line, all using four different cartridges, and engaging targets at 500, 750, and 1,000 yards. First, open any one of your favorites files and input the correct environmental data, An update for the first target distance of 500 yards and select the appropriate wind speed, direction, shooting angle, and firing azimuth. Now to enter the multi-HUD, simply press the icon in the upper right hand corner of the screen and press the plus sign to pull in your first solution screen. Now for easy identification, I recommend naming this HUD by the range. In this case, 500. Notice the name down at the bottom. Now to create the other HUD for 750 yards, you'll again press the plus sign in the upper right hand corner of the screen and name it the appropriate distance. You'll enter that heads up display to update the shot distance, to update the wind speed, direction, shooting angle, and firing azimuth. Lastly, you'll press the multi-HUD icon and the plus sign once again for your final HUD. The final target is at 1,000 yards, You'll enter the 1,000 yard HUD to update the shot distance and to make any changes to the wind, speed, direction, shooting angle, or firing azimuth. Now that we have each solution screen properly representing each range, we can now choose any one of these favorites files and the multi-HUDs that we've just created have been rolled over into these favorite files. Now, if a desired variable needs to be changed, for example, the 1,000 yard target needs an increase in wind speed to get a hit, you can update the wind speed in the 1,000 yard 
HUD only, and simply select the next shooter profile, and the multi-HUD for the 1,000 yard target will reflect the wind speed change. For this last example, we'll cover a competitive shooter preparing for a stage with a single target at 1,200 yards. In this example, the range to the target will not change, nor will the shooting angle or shooting azimuth. However, the wind is gusting from 5 to 15 miles per hour. To benefit the shooter in this scenario, the solution screens can be updated for a 5, a 10, and a 15 mile per hour wind. Simply open the favorites file, update your shot distance, in this case 1200 yards, edit your environmental, your shooting angle, and your firing azimuth to reflect the proper values. Wind speed for this first lowest value will be 5 miles per hour. We'll select the multi-HUD icon and the plus sign. Now I would recommend naming this first HUD 5 miles per hour. Notice the name at the bottom. We'll press the plus sign to create a second HUD. We'll do this HUD at 10 miles per hour. You'll open that solution screen and update the wind speed to 10 miles per hour. Lastly, we'll create a final HUD and we'll name this one 15 miles per hour. We'll enter that solution screen and update the wind speed to 15. As the shooter prepares to take the first shot for the stage, he can assess the change in his windage and elevation correction based on the wind speed by very quickly swiping between a 15, a 10, and a 5 mile per hour wind value before he takes his first shot. The multi-HUD is a great feature designed to enhance the usability of the Ford Off calculator. If you have questions regarding this or any other feature of the Ford Off calculator, please give us a call at 800-338-3220.